You know, in today's world, data is just everywhere, and the need to collect it for market research, lead generation, or just tracking competitive prices is getting more and more important. But the problem is, trying to do this manually by copying and pasting cuts huge time, and frankly, it's just not possible at scale. That's where Browser Act brings the solution. It's a platform designed to let you scrape data using plain English without any kind of coding. Also, it's an AI-powered tool, which means it can adapt to site changes. Plus, it comes with over 100 pre-built templates and connects to over 6,000 apps. So today, we're going to talk about Browser Act in detail and really test its AI scraping capabilities to show you its true potential. So, the first thing we're going to start with is the interface. Honestly, it's a very clean layout. You're not immediately overwhelmed with a bunch of confusing options. On the left-hand side, you have your main navigation menu. This is where you'll find the most important sections, which are the dashboard, AI workflows, your custom AI agents, and the template marketplace. The center of the screen is your main workspace. This is where you'll either see an overview of your activity, which we'll get to, or where you'll be building and running your automations. It's designed to be pretty straightforward. You pick a tool, you configure it, and you run it. Moving on, let's look at the AI workflows section. This is really the core of the pre-built power of Browser Act. These workflows are like recipes that are already set up to perform common scraping tasks. You don't have to build the logic, you just have to provide the inputs. Let's try one out, like the Amazon bestseller scraper. When you select it, the screen splits. On the left, you have your input parameters. For this one, it's asking for the Amazon bestsellers URL for a specific category. You'd also set your data limit, which controls how many items you want to get. On the right side, you see a description of what the scraper does and the steps in the workflow. It'll tell you it's going to visit the page, find the product list, and then loop through it to get the data. So let's run it. We'll paste in a category URL and hit start. What's happening now is that Browser Act is spinning up a browser in the cloud. You can actually see the live browser working, which is pretty helpful. As it runs, you can also see step screen charts, so it shows you visually what it's doing and a log of the steps it's taking, like visiting page, extracting data, and so on. This is great for an AI-powered tool because you can see its process. After a few moments, it will finish and you'll get your data. You can then download it as a CSV or JSON file ready to use. It's that simple. You could do the same thing with the Google News Scraper. You'd give it a keyword, say AI technology, and it would go out and pull the latest headlines, the source links, and the authors for you. It's a really fast way to get started. Now, the pre-built workflows are great, but the real power comes from the custom AI agents. This is where you build your own scraper from scratch, just by giving it instructions without writing any code. Let's walk through it. First, you click to create a new agent. You have to give it a name and a short description. Then, in the next step, you give it instructions. You just write what you want it to do. You can choose the AI model you want to use and the execution style. You also have a set of tools you can let the agent use, like browser control for clicking and typing, auto sign in if you need to log into a site, and different search tools for general web, social, finance, or news. You can even fine tune the agent settings, like setting the max run steps so it doesn't run forever, or the retry delay if it fails. Once you've built the agent, you don't just have to hope it works. You can test it right there in the browser. You'll see it try to follow your instructions and you can see if it's getting stuck. If it works, you can publish it. After it's published, you can run it just like a workflow, and you can see the logs of its activity. Now, you might be wondering, when should I use a custom AI agent versus a pre-built workflow? Here's the key difference. AI agents are perfect for quick exploratory tasks. They're great when you need to test an idea fast, or when you're dealing with sites that change frequently, because the AI can adapt on the fly. But as we said, because they use AI reasoning, each run might have slight variations. Think of it like asking a smart assistant to do something, they'll get it done, but maybe not exactly the same way every time. On the other hand, workflows, like those pre-built ones we saw earlier, are more deterministic. They follow the exact same steps every single time, which makes them perfect for production environments where you need consistent, reliable results. 
Once you've tested your scraping logic with an AI agent and you know exactly what you want, converting it to a workflow gives you that rock solid reliability. So here's our recommendation. Use AI agents for rapid prototyping and one-off tasks, and then graduate to workflows when you need to run the same job repeatedly with guaranteed consistency. Of course, if you don't want to build a custom agent and the basic workflows don't cover your needs, there's the Template Marketplace. This is a larger library of over 100 ready-to-use scrapers that are a bit more specific. For example, in here you'll find templates for scraping Google Maps for business leads, Zillow for real estate listings, or even social media sites for profile information. It works just like the AI workflows section. You pick a template, you provide the inputs it asks for, and you run it. This marketplace is great because it covers a lot of common use cases like product research, lead generation, and market analysis, and it saves you from having to build that logic yourself. It's a huge time saver. Now, getting the data is only half the job. You need to be able to use it. This is where the integrations come in. BrowserAct connects directly with platforms like Make and N8N, and it also offers a full workflow API. This is a big deal. By connecting BrowserAct to Make, you can then send your scraped data to literally thousands of other apps. The workflow API lets developers do this on a more custom-coded level, but for most of us, the Make and N8N integrations are the key to true workflow automation. And finally, let's circle back to the dashboard. Once you've been running workflows and agents, this screen becomes your mission control. It gives you an overview of your recent activity, you can see the logs from your last few runs, and most importantly, you can track your credit usage. This brings up an important point we should be honest about. Browser Act uses a credit-based pricing system, which means it's not unlimited. Each action, like visiting a page or extracting data, costs a certain number of credits. Your dashboard is where you'll monitor this to make sure you're within your plan's limits. Now, we should also talk about a few other limitations too. This tool is not really designed for real-time high-frequency scraping, like a stock ticker. It's more for tasks you run every few hours or once a day. And while its AI is very good at adapting, some websites with extremely heavy bot protection might still pose a challenge. And if you're building very complex multi-step agents, there can be a bit of a learning curve to get your plain English instructions just right. So what's the final word on Browser Act? It's a very capable tool that truly lowers the bar for web scraping. If you're a marketer, a founder, or a researcher who needs data but doesn't know how to code, this is a fantastic solution. It turns a technical 90% cost-saving task into a simple set of instructions. Now, you guys might know about AppSumo. It's basically a marketplace built for entrepreneurs, creators, and small businesses who want access to software without paying the usual high monthly subscriptions. And guess what? Browser Act is there with a limited time discount. You can find them now on AppSumo and buy their subscription at a big cutoff. So hurry up. If you're tired of manual data entry, we'd say BrowserAct is definitely worth checking out. You can sign up for a free trial and test the AI workflows for yourself. Check the description out for the sign up link and start scraping right away. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.